how to make money online. This is one of the most searched keywords on the internet. And it's one of the most high paying niches on YouTube because let's be honest, everybody wants to make money and everybody wants the freedom of making money on a laptop while chilling at a beach. But after years of being on the grind and having failed at digital marketing, failed at drop shipping, failed at SMMA, failed at web design. Yeah, I've failed a couple of times. Well, actually a little bit more than a couple of times. And after years of thoroughly studying those who have made it, I came to a realization that changed my life. I'd been approaching this all wrong. I realized looking for ways to make money is the absolute worst way to try and make money. And I've gotten a lot of emails and comments of people asking me what's the best way to make money online. So here it is. Here's the best way to make money online and get rich. Stop. Just stop. Stop looking for ways to make money online. Stop looking for the best money making advice. Stop looking for the best person to show you how to make money online. Just stop. And do this instead. Come closer. What you really don't want to tell you that now, like the video just started. And besides, if I told you that now, you'd probably click off this video and go right back to square one, looking for ways to make money online. So before we head to what you should start doing, let's start off with why you should stop trying to find ways to make money online. Let's talk about the loop of doom. So that's how it always starts. You want to make money, so you search for the best ways to make money. You watch one of Joshua's videos, or heck, you watch one of my videos. You like the business, you try it out. Fast forward a couple of days, maybe even months later, you still haven't bought your Lambo. So you go back searching best ways to make money online. You watch another video by another creator or heck, you watch another one of my videos and you completely abandon what you've been doing the past couple of days or months. And you decide to do this completely new thing until fast forward a couple of days or months later and you still haven't bought your Ferrari. So you lose interest again and you decide to go back to searching how to make money online and you keep doing this over and over and over and over again sound familiar you see both of these are attributed to what i call the loop of doom this is because money as a motivator is really great at getting you to start something however it really sucks at getting you to stay consistent at something and in as much of the whole consistency thing is a cliche at this point you need consistency, you need repetition if you want to make money online. For example, here's Nate. That is famous for blowing up his channel to thousands of subscribers in only a short couple of months and making tens of thousands of dollars from YouTube and his online courses and his sponsors. But here's what many people don't take into account. He's been doing this for 10 years. Okay, actually he's been doing this for three years. I've been professionally editing videos for over three years now. I don't know why I thought he said 10, but the point still stands. Three years is darn near 1095 and 75 days of repetition. So yeah, if you hear me say 10 years, just replace that in your mind with three years. Ready? It's 10 years of video editing, 10 years of thumbnail design, 10 years of script writing, 10 years of understanding audience behavior, 10 years of understanding the YouTube algorithm. Over time, he's literally built his skill stack. He built a skill stack such that in as many times as he can make videos like these, you really stand little chance of replicating his results because in as much as his success looks overnight, it really wasn't. What would have happened in say year eight, he decided to quit YouTube and start dropshipping or start SMMA. He would have left all these skills behind and he would have forfeited all the success that he's now experiencing. So what is a skill stack? Let's start off with that. To make any online business work, you need a skill stack. That would be all the different combination of skills that will make that online business work. And this took me forever to learn. For the longest time, I would approach every side hustle, or every passive income generating method with a start first and hope for the best mentality. But it somehow happened to work for me because by a complete chance, I just happened to start and failed at exactly the right thing. I tried dropshipping, failed at it, but I learned how to create e-commerce stores. I tried a web design agency, failed at it, 
but I learned how to create websites. I tried an SMMA and digital marketing agency, failed at them, but I learned everything digital marketing from algorithms to audience to funnels to video editing to graphic design. Audience is so much. And this is just an example of my school stack, but it happened completely by chance. So with all these skills, I start YouTube and what's the result? A thousand subscribers with only three videos on my channel. And if you're watching this video, you have an opportunity to be more intentional about your skill stack. But to prevent you hitting every wall like I did, here's the best way to take advantage of your stack. Start jotting down all of your skills. And I mean all of them. Even if they're not necessarily hard skills, it's just a passion, jot it down because it counts as part of your skill stack. It's your advantage. Write it all down and then start to think, what's the best online business that can make use of this skill stack. And the way to find this out is by putting your skill stack into an AI like Claude and then asking it to give you online businesses that match up with your stack. And then searching YouTube for tutorials on those businesses. And only then, pick the one that appeals to you the most. But maybe you're looking at your skills and one, there's not many, or two, you don't really like the skills you already have. You can reverse engineer this method. Jot down all the online businesses that you like and start thinking about what's the best and optimal skill stack to make each one work and what's the best and optimal skill stack for you. So say you want to start a history shorts channel. Well, obviously you're going to need video editing. You're going to need graphic designs for all your thumbnails. You're going to need writing because you can't always rely on AI. And as I found out in this video, you're going to need a passion for history. As I said, it's going to be different for each side hustle. So if you watch a tutorial from me or any other creator, that isn't an invitation to quit what you're doing now and start this new thing. Instead, look to see what is it you can add to your skill stack from the video, or look to see if you can integrate some parts of the online business I'm talking about into your online business. I'm going to be talking more about this in episode two of my Just Stop series. Let me know if you guys like this format, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace.